Good evening, America. This is your host, Tyler Bates, <laughs> reporting live from Washington, D.C. as we bring you yet another week of collegiate Rocket League gameplay. I mean, it's going to be an incredible matchup no matter what. I just feel bad for Ole Miss. Everybody's dogging on them, and then the one time they got some backing, it was on accident. So there is a lot to prove, but I granted it is starting out pretty much how most people predicted. Kind of struggling to find his rhythm a little bit. It was a nice flick. Pass over to one of Mike, takes the shot. That one goes crossbar and out. Could make this a little bit of a challenge, so I'm liking the level of aggression that they're opening up with. There's Oath extending the lead once again. The school goes up by two. Yeah, this one just kind of ended real poorly. Sea Money comes up and it's timing on that read as he comes across. But you can't let Ball State in on those free chances. Another ball off the corner. Nice shot from one to Mike is up for grabs, having advantage on that game. But Ball State, they feel like they should be the ones. They got the first game win. Will Forbidden Temple be any different? Well, currently, your eyes are telling you no. When you think you have the right beat on the pitch and, and Wova's right on top of you. Turns out you may need to look a little bit closer. Now it bounces off the ramps. Great pass from C Money. One to Mike will split the lead. So this time, at least, things are a little bit closer for the time being. Just a one goal differential. Lunar up in the air. Going to carry this one all oh. the way through. He goes crossbar and out. Yeah, this is just a, you're pretty much just running out of time at this point. The bump play is really going to make that even more difficult for you. I, I mean, if you're already down low, you might as well go lower. <laughs> and if you're already up high, why not climb a little bit higher? That's where Gut is right now. You know what? Let me, let me inch that one up a little bit. Let's just take our critical game that's really uh, important to win, you know, to get uh, to secure our place in the playoffs, or at least to make it a little less scary. Uh, yeah, how about uh, you decide to pop off today, and none of us will work. There's another one he almost gets. He'll get an assist for that one, so he's got... Three goals. Doing exactly what we've seen time and time again earlier in the series, just taking shots at this net one time after wow. the other. Here comes Oath. Lobos in the tank, enough to try and drop it down over to Wova. Wins the 50. Maybe Oath can double this one on through. <laughs> oh. It goes to the post and out. Oh, it was so pretty, that whole sequence. Your skill at that point, if that's what makes you nervous, Wova. Up in the air with this one. Everybody trying to get in position. Oh. Carries it over one. Not oh. quite. And Guz follow-up will go through. Just another goal to add to the tally. And now maybe a little too much. Guz having to stop the ball momentum. Oh, yeah, never mind, Guz. You know what? <laughs> it's just an offense. It's just offense. There he, he goes. Shots in. Oh, God. Please, dude. It's two goals again. Is he going to get a hat trick on all three goals? In all three games? Two hat tricks. Five in total in the series. Might even be six, actually. If You could correct me if I'm wrong. Oath wants to go further than that. Take us back further past Brazil's 7-2. Eight seconds left. It's it's, it's just GGs. insane. It's, it's, it's GGs. GGs. And finally, a real test to see who is truly deserving of the number one spot in the East. Oh, Dish out to the middle, and they're going <laughs> to feed the big dog. Sosa starts it off. That's, and that's the guy you want. On the behind the ball money. What a second double tap here Ooh. to put it across on Sosa. Achieves, we were talking about it. We're going over the stats. He's shooting just under 50%. 50%! I'm down to the side. Did they give it the gas here? Can see it to the middle. Pressing, oh. and it's going to find its way through. 2 1 with four left. And how did he make his way across? He was in the corner, and a second touch, and then the, the pre-flip, and the dunk. That could have not gone any better for Kinsey. And it might come in the form of the start. Finally, Sosa denied at the goal line. Hockey able to recover just in the nick of time to start off game two. And Sosa actually racing back. He may not make it. Lion Blaze is just going to throw it in his face. And did Lion Blaze just land on this one? He got it over two, yeah, kept going with the boost, and then lands on it with Sosa? <laughs> I mean, that's just ridiculous from Lion Blaze. Yeah, I mean, See you what know. happens, you never know. Fortune favors the bold, I suppose, and here's a double tap from Money, who finds one right back for Fisher. Favoring the bold is right. Fortune favors money, takes a hard double with a defender. Hockey's there, but it is a tough ball. That was a, a straight Rocket League fumble if there ever was one. 
as Lion Blaze strips the ball in the wow. middle and actually didn't even need Zanil's help, just ticked off the crossbar, went straight in. Great 50, just to put it neutral, but Zanil Whoa. found an open spot in the top left corner, a small gap, and he slides right through. And what a clang from Zanil. Hockey let it go, Zanil flicking into it, and that's a gr great placement by Zanil far post. And does he make it back in time? He will pinch this one off his post. Zanil rockets one to the left side, and one more time, Kinsey will poke it out to safety, but here comes Northwood with a demo. A lot of opportunities here, and Kinsey will dodge the bump. Lion Blaze is waiting at the top of the box, and again, Fisher survives. Sosa eyeing this one up, saying, is this you know, another chance to extend the shooting percentages. How about a pass? Wow. And it's a rocket. Two to one for Fisher. At a disadvantage, needing to find an equalizer, but a bit more time pressure here, and Sosa will extend the lead with another pass out of the corner. <laughs> Lion Blaze trying to keep it up. Zanil's still there. Back to Lion Blaze, and this one's still Ooh, okay. in favor of Northwood. No, it's not. Good night. Game three, and Sosa makes sure it's done. Lion Blaze looking for two. And he, uh, oh, <laughs> he choked it. <laughs> but otherwise, you really you don't have much. You don't have much to, to write home about right now for yes. Fisher, as now it's a three goal lead. We talked about how teams were finding responses quickly. Well, game four might be an outlier. Can say, see what he can put together. Gets through a couple. Sosa trying to force it through. Money, and he pops it high. Gets Ooh. a second touch, but Zanil makes the save. Money will deny. Here comes Hockey. Can't get a double tap. That one's up quickly. Zanil shots on target. Ooh. And Northwood weather the storm for almost three minutes and are able to come out on top. Such a tough ball for Sosa to handle. He knew he couldn't allow a potential double tap because there's a guy named Zanil on the other side who is going to jump all over anything if he can get there. Almost own gold. Lion Blaze with a chance to put wow. this one away. Kinsey, with a little help from money, finds a clear. Ball out to Sosa in an awkward form. Only 10 seconds now. Fisher need one more chance. Or have Northwood done it in game five? The outlet pass comes out to Kinsey, takes to the sky. Can Kinsey be the hero looking for the bump? Money, can he go all the way? So it comes up to so but he pops it too high. Fisher can't do it, and they've run out of time. Northwood takes it in five. Couldn't quite get that on target. They're still on the that aggressiveness like you talked about. I mean, we saw Schmack come in with that shot. Oh no, this is a disaster! Cosmic Flippy takes full advantage of it, and he's gonna be able to get his one back. We like I said, we saw that aggressiveness from him and even the rest of the LCU at the start here. Things started to shift on that defensive transition. Smack actually gets taken out here on the play as Gusky trying to carry this over everybody. Does get his center, uh -oh. not the best touch, and Samba will score it. It just feels like because they're out of sync, they don't know where to place the ball. This time, though, that speed almost paying dividends. Another one goes in. Royal will score. LCU take the lead. But a game two is definitely a good time to swing things around. Or will it continue to be outpaced? Because Process is dunking it straight through! He put a hand up, but it wasn't enough! What a goal! Trust the Process! What a dunk against the freshman Gusky. Feels like he's been around for a while. Samba has. One of the longest tenured players in CRL history. Schmack will score here, six seconds in, and LCU has struck first in the first 30 seconds of each game. And you, you can see it from Gusky. He jumps up. Imagine, I'm thinking that Schmack is going to go for an air dribble, maybe like a flip reset type of play. No. Once he sees Gusky in the air, he says, all right, time to pull the trigger. Gets a little fortunate on the defensive end, but they are playing with fire against oh. a very capable Columbia squad. They're trying to get a quick hitter and get back mm. into this game, but here goes Process, and oh. the redirect is just wide. Still so much pressure from Columbia Silver. They finally get room to breathe. This Cosmic flipping to the top left. What a double as they get out of that terrible pressure. Hemmed in their own zone. You thought maybe Samba finally is creeping out, grabbing that midfield boost would matter. Nana, nah. Cosmic Flippy double tap. By no means secure in their spot in the standings as Gusky looking to line up two touches, doesn't have it. And now Schmacked with win. a huge dunk. Cosmic Flippy's got the real. Oh, he doesn't! How does he miss that? Of all touches! Gonna try to steal this corner. They're sitting the whole house on this play. Asama's into the air. Can he get it through? Denied. Follow up shot. Rolls in. 
win, and it's a one-goal game. And Schmack now up to the backboard, and Columbia's got to go the length of the field while the ball's still behind them. Gusky just through the corner, nudged off the ball. Zamba can't get it in the air, and love it, Christian takes down Columbia. Missouri, <laughs> we've got quite the interstate matchup. Both teams have been around for a while, Mizzou, most notably with Cribs, who's put a, put, gonna put away the first shot. He's had many different teammates in the past, but he's been a star now in this season, and for Mizzou, he's able to put away his first. To score the third goal for Mizzou, Crossbite might have what it takes, coming back to Crims. Has rotated the whole way back, but that's a big oh, win wow. for Bumpin, and now they've split the lead. Wow, what a challenge from Bumpin. First getting it past that first defender, but then taking Exodia straight in the face there and able to win that challenge. Keep that momentum going, but the midfield's hard to hang on to. Exodia's in the area. Crims hopping on top of Bernie, and Frostbite got a clean touch. Up in last back, everyone resets on blue. They win the ball. Bang. Smacks! Oh, smash that ball. They'll stay on top of it. The old wifty wifty coming to bite him. Exodia, drop pass, Crims! Whoa. Backside, beautiful play! Perfectly executed here, too. Crims finding Exodia in the corner, and look at Exodia getting up and dropping that one right on the hood of Crims, who goes back post with the shot. That's how it's done for Mizzou. With those, with those solo efforts, it doesn't necessarily have to be solo. Just someone who has the ability to control the ball and force a, a team back with their 50 and let your team actually take control of the game, take control of the boost. Bumpin's missing the ball. Frostbite, oh. too light of a touch. Wow. And Exodia flexes the guns. Pretty much just an, a lob from Frostbite. You're expecting to be able to f just follow that up easy with a 50. But really, that ended up working in Mizzou's favor. And it almost feels like it doesn't really matter what you do oh on my. Missouri S&T. This ball's going in your net no matter what. Frostbite nails one. Well, you give him space, and he's going to make you pay. Smacks can't get there in time. We'll double tap off the backboard, why don't you? And they have looked better and better at everyone on this team executing. You know, a lot of the story in game one was how Crims and Exodia played together. But in this game, one more for the road, <laughs> a hat trick for Frostbite, and he's gonna make us say his name one more time because that's how great he's been here in game two. A 924 score, three goals, an assist, five saves, and six shots Yo. is the scoreline for one man on Mizzou, and that's Frostbite. But Mizzou, well, hold on a second. This one going towards the net, and Exodia, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. This is what happens when you try to play your cards too early. Exodia coming across <laughs> Look at and going way too fast, bro. You got to slow down. <laughs> oh, no, Exodia. Crims will fall back down onto the ball. It doesn't matter. They're through the entire Missouri team. Crims getting around it. Slowing it down. Oh, what a save. tried the dish, but uh, you got to lay the appetizer out first. Bump into the back wall. That one's dangerous. Bump it back to himself off the crossbar and in. It came off Frostbite. A lot of demos keep on happening. Smacks smashes another one. Frostbite's dead. Bumpin's got the 50 off the board. Shots off on the crossbar into the net. Smacks. Here comes Frostbite. Cross. Crims. Shot. <laughs> top right corner. And with nine seconds left, Mizzou have a chance. Oh, you wanted some firepower. Well, here's a rocket to your face. Crims, bang that ball off the bar. And I'm sad that it hit the bar before it went in because I wanted to know what the actual exit velocity of that shot was. <laughs> Missouri s &T just march back in and take away your food. Exodia got the reset, but two players combined to get the clear. It's cleared up high. Great read from Bumpin. No one's back. Loose net. Woo, the birdie ball got it off the bar. And Frostbite will take it away. And straight to Exodia is now... Bumpin will poke it away, and he almost made something of it. Crims has to make a goal line save. Nice job from Crims. So patient he has been. But the loose ball! Bumpin up in midair! And it's popped up by Exodia. Crims was also in the area, but Exodia tried to play. Bumpin full tank, full boom. Five seconds. Demode, he's gone. Frostbite wants some space. Last he's chance. got it. Last try. Zero seconds off the board. Bernie takes it off the board and puts it on the ground. Completed the reverse sweep. Missouri SNT. And early on, getting pushed back in their half. Nice big clear here. Sauce gets challenged by Aquino. 
Enough boost in the tank to make the pass over to Emblem, but it goes far and out. Dog's got the cleanup on this one, and SDSU got early game. Just taking the time, this one into the corner here. And Pleb, wide shot. Could be centered if somebody was there. Instead, Spade's gonna try and carry it out. Shot opportunity again. Oh, no. You can't miss. No, you can't. Oh, not on okay. that one. It was too <laughs> wide open. Kansas finally get onto the board after a rule one. Puts it in their favor. <laughs> and they execute on the 2v1 on defense. Got a massive 50 in front of their own net. That Kansas side and Pleb over one defender. Can he double it in? The bounce oh. was there and in his favor. It was so slow, but SDSU back up by two. Real nice job from Impleb. Noticing a little bit of space to work with in the midfield. Dodges the physicality. Gets around the last man. A little help from Akenio. Finding some interference on the last person in net. But still, not an easy shot for Impleb. Two touches off the side to try and send it towards that net there. Infield pass goes Ooh. right to the goal line, but Sauce has the save. No boost in the tank for Dog. Dog got that dog in him, and nobody <laughs> is getting past him right now. Ooh! <laughs> Oh, and it's going to wind its way into the net. Sure, it just takes the raw contest on the goal line. 25 seconds to go. Can SDSU tie this one up here? Bump in the corner. Shaw oh, takes no, it to no. the net, and it goes, oh, no. Oh, man. Well, 10 seconds left. SDSU back in the game and oh, in no. the lead at 7. Oh. It's a Kenio. It does feel a, a little bit we're going just to go. Ooh, do something. Huge bounce, dog is late, Chur will score, there you go. The game all tied up, and Pleb collecting his own corner, but KU really trying to jam them into a tight spot here. Sauce, can you make something happen? Chur is caught too far forward, but he gets an extra touch. Pleb is able to make it in time, what a recovery. Big 50 from Spade though, and oh. Sauce is there. Akenio just in time, Chur to drop the hammer, and it's wide, you needed it. Now it's the one-on-one, -on -one. back the other way with the demo. Akenio forced to go wide. Wide sauce just in the nick of time. KU alive by a thread. Spade pokes one down the seam and will convert. It's, a, it's been a long night at Chiefs. <laughs> it, it, you know, it is pretty late. I will give you that. Oh, with a demo in the net, but sauce is oh, he's gonna get there. He missed the ball. Oh. oh, man. And he didn't even have any boost in the tank. He just let his car fall with it. It was the demo from Spade. And then oh, Akenio. Akenio just too fast. So this one wraps to the corner. Dog's gonna try and send this one towards the Ooh. net. He's still got a little dog left in him as this one goes on in. And Spade just trying to kill the clock. Oh. I thought this one, okay. Dog, dog's got it. First couple of seconds for both teams. Ooh. Just oh. kidding, it's terrifying. <laughs> we go into the corner here. Chura just really been up in the faces of everybody. There's enough <laughs> in the tank for Dog to put this one through for SDSU. Nobody a good chance to make that save. Sauce and Dog will cancel each other out on the kickoff, and it will go into empty space for Implem, and it's kicked off the corner from Spade. What a save. I think Implem ran out of oh. boost because he definitely should have been able to push that one through. Thankfully, here comes Dog once again. I think he's on the road to a hat trick here in game five. He is. That's a second one here in game number five. <laughs> We're trying. Oh, and man. again, just straight at him. <laughs> he's, no he's, frills. He's not, there, there is no fear in his face. This is this is game one and two SDSU for sure. The team that were confident <laughs> enough to to play a two v two in game number one. You just you gotta pocket this right now. But no, they're gonna drive it upfield. That one is it. SDSU take this in game five. Just gonna play it out. You never know. Maybe, maybe one more. That that goal differential could be helpful. But it's gonna hit the ground. SDSU take down Kansas in five. No, we're not ending it yet. <laughs> East, East, East standings. <laughs> Northwood University have clinched. They have played a couple games off stream. I believe they're nine and zero at the beginning of the night. Now they're twelve and zero. Akron 10 and 2, Fisher College 7 and 2. Nobody officially eliminated yet, though, in the West. Like I said, Kansas still has a outside looking in chance, and <laughs> all the way down there at the bottom, but they're gonna need a lot of help stacks.